welcome to the GEZ Class Pack Volume 1. My name is Gudrun from GE Designs and I'm so excited to kick off this class series with this first video. Do you find yourself searching through your fabric stash for the perfect coordinates? Do you strive to be more confident in your color combinations? If you answered yes or just love fabric, then a subscription to Goodies Color Club is for you. Goodies Bundle Club is a quarterly subscription program with carefully curated fabric bundles by me sent right to your doorstep. I handpick every fabric in each delivery with 12 half yard pieces, which will only be available to Goodies Bundle Club members. In addition to an exclusive Stash Builder Bundle, each delivery includes a booklet of information on the fabrics I have chosen, the fabric designer, additional fabric suggestions to use with a bundle, and quilt patterns that would be a perfect pairing with the fabric. Hi, my name is Gudrun from GE Designs. Welcome to my live quilting chat, Tipsy Tuesday. Hi everybody, thank you for being with us both on YouTube and Facebook this Tuesday evening. Uh, make sure if you haven't done so yet, say hi in the comments and uh, you know, meet with all your friends, introduce yourselves, tell us where you're from, 
and where you're tuning in from. And if you haven't yet, hit that like button if you're on Facebook and subscribe if you're on YouTube. Now, we do have a giveaway at the end, so you gotta stick around throughout the whole show. It's always great to see everything that we got going on. I've got some beautiful things to share with you. Of course, running the show behind the scenes is Mr. HP. You wanna say hi to everybody? Everybody. <laughs> He's got a quilt by him. Look at that. That's Zoe. Oh, sure. she's, she's sitting by you today. All right, so on today's show, I have some updates on our virtual retreat coming up. Um, in March, we will check in on our class pack students, and I'll answer some questions on our upcoming quilt along later this month. So on the set, Kobe's on the set, but he's behind me, so can't see him. But let's talk about the quilts. I have the Millie quilt on this side, and then I have the Inca quilt on this side. These are both made with our first bundle club bundle, the Listen to Your Heart. That was the first shipment that all of our subscribers got back in October, and I wanted to put that up because we are counting down. Next bundle club shipment will ship on Friday. Friday the 20th. So we're very, very excited about that. So if you are a subscriber, look out for Friday. Um, our warehouse staff has been busy cutting, folding, packing, and uh, so everybody should be getting that notification, hopefully Friday. Now, if you don't know what we're talking about, this is a quarterly subscription club. So every three months you get a bundle that is handpicked by me. I usually feature a fabric line for most of, the pad, most of the fabrics, but then I put in some great basics into the bundle. This was our first one was Listen to Your Heart Art Gallery, and then we included a bunch of great basics from them. And then um, in each shipment, you also get this beautiful booklet. If you maybe saw the intro before we were counting down for our show, you saw a little promo of the, bu of the bundle club. But we get, we make up at least three quilts, sometimes more, from that bundle to give you ideas on how you can use it and give you all the information of the additional fabrics you need. We also carry uh, extra fabrics from the same line so you can purchase your bindings and backings and borders, all the Bs, background, binding, borders, and backing. So uh, we're excited. So here are the quilts from our last one uh, in October. So I the same ones you recognize from the set. It's uh, Millie and Inga, and we also did a strip ribbons for this one. And it's, I think it was very exciting. We had a lot of excited people get this one. And I'm seeing a lot of you using that bundle up. So I love that, love, love, love that. So uh, we started something at the beginning of the year where I did talk about, I'm gonna talk about, give you a tip every single Tuesday goodies tip of the day so it is time for our goodies tip of the day what is our tip of the day today we're going to be talking about a neat little feature on the stripology xl ruler and something specific on that one that i want to show you is something that maybe not everybody knows about so the Stripology XL ruler is, as you know, we have slits going from zero to 20. So when you are cutting strips from yard edge or, or anything you're doing, you can cut up to 20. But it has a little secret. The lip outer on each side, this side and this side, is exactly an inch. So this is what I wanted, so I know that my ruler from edge to edge is 22 inches. So it, whenever I'm cutting something, let's say I'm subcutting a strip. So sometimes we're subcutting strips, and we did this a lot for cutting for Zoe. Those of you that are doing the bundle club, the um, class packs, we needed a lot of three-inch increments. So for example, if I'm going to subcut this strip into three inch increments. Now this will vary depending on your fabric length, but I am going to cut this one into three inch increments, so it's two and a half inch strip, but I'm gonna cut it, uh, so I'm getting two and a half by three inch uh, rectangles. So I just go through the zero, and then three, 
6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and then I could do 21, right? So now, because my fabric is long enough, I can cut on the 21. And that way, just keep going so that I can utilize my whole strip to do this. Another great thing about this one and the size of it, you will also see on each side, and I did this purposely, there are dotted lines on the, on the lip, on each lip. There are dotted lines, and those are quarter inch apart. So what that does for you is whenever you need to subcut something that's more than 20, or anything in between. So 20, 20 and a half, 20, one and a half, all those little things, you can use that as a measurement. So for example, if I wanted to subcut this strip into 20 and a half inch, if I was gonna do 21, I, saw, I showed you that was easy. But what about 20 and a half? There's not a slit in the middle of the, my lip. So here's what I do. I align my, strip of course with a horizontal line on the ruler so then i actually cut through the zero and remove my salvages and now i'm going to slide my ruler over to the right and by doing that i'm adding if i slide it over to the first dotted line i'm adding a quarter so now if i'm going to cut on the 20 i'm getting a 20 and a quarter if i'm going to if I slide it over to the next one, to the second dotted line, and I cut on the 20, I've got a 20 and a half. So this also is the same if I wanted a 21 and a half, and I have enough fabric, I could still cut on the edge of the ruler, and then I have a 21 and a half. But I needed a 20 and a half, so let's cut through the 20, and this way I have two strips, or two rectangles that are two and a half inches wide by 20 and a half. So that is my tip of the day. Utilize your whole Excel ruler, edges and all. Now, how many of you did not know about this? I always am surprised, you know, this is something I've talked about throughout the years. We talk about it in uh, quilt alongs and, and things. So, but there are a lot of folks that don't maybe know, didn't maybe know about this and how you can utilize those quarter inch dotted lines. So I would love to hear in the comments if you hadn't seen this before. That's the goal of Goody's Tips. Sometimes they're just little things, but if there was one person that didn't know it, then that was all worth it. All right. So uh, let's check in on our class pack students. Our first GEZ class pack volume one is going on right now. So we are working on Katrina quilt first. So the first three parts uh, will be, or first three sessions that will be the Katrina. We did uh, part one last week, was released last week. So all of my students have been working on their blocks. And then uh, tomorrow will, the part two will be released, part two of Katrina. We have then one more part of Katrina, and then you will, we will have a live Zoom day a week following that before we dive into Zoe. But let's check in. I went and we have our own little Facebook group, which we're using kind of like a forum, so everybody can post their progress. So let's check out some of the first blocks. So block A of all of, or block one of all of these students that have posted their, their photos already. I put together a little slideshow for you.
Aren't they gorgeous? These are going to be some amazing Katrina quilts. Um, and I saw that some of you had questions during the slideshow. Yes, uh, this quilt is so much easier to make than, than it appears. So all of your comments on how great the videos are, uh, I give you them a little bit of those goody tips that really help and can actually save even more time. So this one kind of whips up very, very, very fast. But uh, let's take a look at some of your fabrics. Are, is there a lot of fabric waste with Katrina? Nope, not really at all. So it's just we trim everything up in the end so you do have slivers around. But that is pretty much evident if you're going to do anything uh, trying to avoid using templates because this type of block you would not be able to do without templates um, and a little trim up. Where can I find the pattern for Millie? Millie is uh, one of our single patterns. So uh, you can find that as an individual pattern, both a PDF and a um, printed pattern. And Inca is, of course, in our newest Tripology Mixology 3 book. And I saw a question uh, if you could do both with the bundle. And absolutely, yes, you can, because you can cut the Inga, cut the tenon squares for Inga. And then you could cut Millie, even though it calls for fat quarters, but you can get a little creative with, with cutting from the rest of the bundle, cut your Millie pieces. Is it too late to join the glass, class packs? No, not at all, because this is how I, uh, how I structured this class, these classes or these sets of classes. The videos just appear in your account weekly, so you can watch them whenever. There are lots of folks that are a part of the class packs, but they haven't started yet because they've got something going on in their life and they're waiting for um, something. Well, you don't have, to, don't have to have a set time. It's all going to be there. It's all going to be there. Uh, for the rest of your life. You can watch the videos over and over. So you can always join in. Uh, okay, so do you need a template for Katrina? No, you just need your stripology ruler. And I give you instructions too if you don't, if you don't have one. So uh, you don't necessarily need it, but let me tell you, it's very, very helpful. It's a game changer. Makes this quilt very easy. Uh, the blocks went together so well, hard to wait for tomorrow's class. It's going to be great. So I wanted to show you, because I one question also I saw, if you could make the Katrina quilt with just block one. Yes, of course you can. So the reason, when I was designing this quilt, I actually brought it out just because I wanted to kind of explain that, what, you know, how I made those decisions to have two blocks for this quilt. So let's take a look at it in the overhead camera. So as you can see, there are, you know, this is block one, and then this is block two, here, here, here. The beautiful thing about this block, because it's asymmetrical, it's a triangle, so you can turn it four different ways, and that triangle is going to be situated differently. Um, so that's what I really wanted for this quilt. I wanted it to be so playful that the, the triangles would be uh, any which way, and they would just kind of dance and play with your eye. And so I made first just one block, and I felt like it wasn't enough variety. I needed another feature in it, so I, that's why I decided to do two blocks. So that gives you, each block can be placed four different ways. And so with two, you can place them eight different ways, and that's how you get all the variety and the dancing. And then you add to it all the different colors. So there is a lot of play and movement in this quilt. So that was the reason. All right, any more questions on the class packs? Everybody's excited. So tomorrow morning, uh, you will get an email or you can go check your downloadable files in your account on gequiltdesigns.com and you will find part two video ready to go. Where can I purchase the Amelie supersized pattern? So that is on the website. You can uh, just go. Best, best thing, best feature about our website, go to the search bar and, and type in Amelie Supersized or Amelie Quilt Along and you will find it. Also, we have a blog post where you can find all of the information. Now, now, I will talk about this a little later, but we do have the special still going on through Friday. If you purchase any bundle from us, any bundle, any half yard bundle. Uh, you will get the Amelie Supersize pattern free, and that includes all the videos that will be posted in your account after the quilt along. So you could also purchase it for $10 this week on the 20th. 
uh, after the 20th, it, that price will go up as well if you don't want to uh, or cannot purchase fabric, which is totally understandable. So just wanted to mention that, but I was going to talk about it later. <laughs> but good question. What is the quilting pattern on the Katrina quilt? Um, I think it's called Dizzy Izzy. I think so. Can't promise because I don't have that in front of me. But it's a circular kind of a twisty thing. So um, hopefully somebody can confirm it in the comments, but I think that's what it is. All right, so let's talk about our retreat. Our uh, virtual, Starbology virtual retreat, C's third, third annual, I should say, not season. Third annual will take place uh, end of March. We have two sessions going on. And uh, just like we did last year, we are going to be offering scholarships. And so now we ask for all of you, we are offering two full scholarships for the retreat, one for each session. And what that means is that we want to award a worthy quilter with a full retreat package that includes all the fabric and everything. And so now we ask for you guys' help. What we would like is for you to nominate a quilter that is deserving, and that can be um, somebody that would, of course, not otherwise be able to do the retreat. So somebody that needs a little bit of mental encouragement, some support in sewing. Uh, we love to find people that are newer to quilting, but would, would not um, have the means or ways to do the retreat otherwise. Um, Somebody maybe needs a little TLC, has a lot going on uh, in their lives. So last year, for example, we awarded it to quilters that um, maybe had been going through treatments for cancer or any other diseases. We had um, a military mom that really had was caring for children at all times, and the beautiful thing, the person that nominated her um, actually decided to take care of the kids so she could do the retreat, which was just wonderful. It was like a, a full circle moment. Um, and then we had, we, had, we had actually five, five scholarship recipients last year. We put up two spots, and then our wonderful viewers and all of you, some of you, decided to donate a spot as well. So you can, of course, still do that. But how you nominate? is send an email to help at G equal designs. We are accepting nominations and we will take nominations until Valentine's Day. So Valentine's Day, we will close off the nomination. So send us an email, describe the person you're nominating, make sure that you put your name, your email, your cell phone number, and who you're nominating, their full name, their email, and their cell phone number. That is key. And then uh, if maybe you can maybe, uh, I don't know, sneak somehow, somehow sneak some questions in and figure out if they can actually do the retreat and uh, whichever session would work better, that would be great because we don't want to go through the process of nominating somebody if they you know, physically can't do it, physically can't be there or online or whatever else. So I am excited. This was so rewarding last year. It was really hard to pick from all the beautiful letters and nominations, but we are very excited for this. And so please, please, please send your emails to help at G Equal Designs, and then we'll gather them all up. And on uh, Valentine's Day, I thought this is a perfect day, Valentine's Day, we will go through them. And we always have our whole staff vote read all the stories, and we have our whole staff vote um, on who should get it. So I think that uh, it's something that we just love doing. So if you have any questions on this process, please let me know. Let us know. Um, is there a scholarship fund? I would like to contribute, but not a whole scholarship. So, so that is absolutely possible. So what, what we do, just email us to help at G Equal Designs. Tell us what you would would like to donate, and then we'll give you instructions how you can do that. All right, so just email us and, and, um, and tell us. So, um, all right, any more questions coming up on your end? Yes. 
So we always give it, um, we always leave it up to the recipients if they want to disclose that they received it or not. We are totally discreet as well. So we understand there's all kinds of circumstances. So please just um, tell us some wonderful stories of people that are really worthy and or needs a little pick me up in their lives right now. We want to reach out and, and uh, embrace them. Welcome them to the GE, GEZ, world of GEZ, and uh, Goodies Quilt Crew. Yes. It's a wonderful world. All right, so moving on to our supersized quilt along. Now, the quilt along, if you have not been watching our shows lately, that will take place on January 28th. It's a full day quilt along, how we've done it in the past. I will go live. Uh, four times throughout the day, both on YouTube and Facebook. So we are changing things up a little bit this year because I have heard such great feedback that all of you love to have those videos accessible for a longer time, forever. So this time we are, whoever purchases the pattern, will then you will receive all those videos into your account after the quilt along. So once, I, once we do the live, that part of the quilt along, you will, see that, you will see that video in your account after that. So you can go back and watch it a few times, lots of times. So that is uh, one of the additions. So the cutting instructions are coming. They will be released into your account on Saturday. So you'll have a whole week to uh, work on figuring out your fabric, pressing it, and getting it, getting, it's not a lot of cutting that needs to happen before uh, Saturday the 28th, but you can uh, take your time because you will receive a video with all of the cutting, take you through all of the cutting. Now, um, just reminding you, it, we still have this special going on through the 20th, and then of course the 21st is when the Cutting instructions come out, both of the both the written PDF instructions and the video. So through Friday, any bundle you purchase on half yard bundle you purchase on the G Equal Designs website, you will receive the pattern for free. And just know you don't have to put it in your cart. If you're purchasing a half yard bundle, you don't have to add the Amelie pattern video package to your to your cart. We will add it once we process your order once we ship your bundle to you, we will add the pattern to your order with a video and, and um, right now all you're getting is the schedule, how the day will go, the fabric requirements and all of that, but you can also find the fabric requirements on our blog. So you can just go to our blog and find the um, supersized Amelie quilt along and find all the information you need. Now, of course, I love the one that I made that you're seeing in all those photos. This is my super size, Amelie super size from the, um, what, uh, okay, what is the name of this bundle? It's totally Wild Meadow. That's what it is. Wild Meadow. I love these purples and pinks with a little bit of that mustard. So I love this one, but of course I'm gonna make another one. I have to make another one with all of you uh, on Sunday the 28th. So I've been going, I, I gave you lots of ideas last week during uh, the show last week, and I've been trying to figure out which one I'm gonna do. Well then, of course, there was a little wrench thrown in my, into my plans because we got a restock we got a re-delivery of Root. Uh, the Root bundle is back. I'm not sure if it's on the website but quite yet, but we got a restock of it, so now I'm like, I kind of have to use it. I kind of have to use it. Do you know what Root is? Root is by um, eBond. It's a free spirit designer that designed glyphs that came out last year. I made the original Inca quilt that you see in the book, well, this is Inga, um, that you see in the book, that is um, Ebon's Glyphs fabric line. Root is, is her next collection, the newest collection. Got a lot more color. It's gonna be a wild one, but it's perfect for a large scale, uh, supersized Amelie, and I can't wait. Did you show that? Uh, Pre-order bundles, uh, yes, they count as well. You can order those, but of course, we, 
you might want to send us a little note on that because we don't process the pre-orders yet until they are in. So just know that. So then we might miss it if, and not put the bundle, uh, pattern in your account. This is root, yes. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, so I found, I think I'm going to use just a off-white uh, accent fabric that has just a tiny bit of color. They have little tiny triangles, so a little bit of black in them. But it really needs to be calm <laughs> to stand out from those fabrics. So I'm really, really excited to see how this one turns out. Yeah, they're really cool. They're, uh, I think it's just awesome because... You know, we're heading it. We Emma, we had Martin Luther King Jr. Day yesterday, and then we're heading into Black History Month. And E Bond is um, a woman of color that designed this awesome, really cool and inspiring fabric. And so, I think it's exciting that it, it's perfect that I'm making it out of that uh, accent. I'm gonna use. Uh, I don't remember the name of it, but I will show it to you. It's it's being shipped here. I'll show it to you on Friday. It's just an off-white with just a little bit of pattern. I don't want too much movement. There was a few that, that I was thinking of using, and I just ended up picking one. But I'll show you guys on Friday what I'm going to be using for the accent. Very excited about that. Um, okay, so let's take a look. Now, if you're, somebody was asking if it's already back in stock. I'm not sure where they are in the warehouse with it. There's a lot, there's a lot of new stuff, a lot going on. In the warehouse plus we're getting bundle club ready to ship out so if it's not on the website right now it will be in the next cup next day or two but you know you how you can get notified if it's showing out of stock on the website go to the product and put your email into uh, sign up sign up for notifications you just put your email in the box there and uh, then you will get receive an email right away when it's entered into back in uh, stock and um, you won't be Missing it. About this Missing question. out. How about this question? Okay. Which fabrics will you use from the bundle if you're making a lap? Ugly. Ugly? <laughs> I think that was a misprint. There if I'm no making ugly. a lap size. So I usually, here's what I do. I usually want more variety. So I'll probably use all of the fabrics. I'll probably use all of the fabrics and just pick, you know, just cut, cut a little bit different. So, but I'll, I'll use all the fabrics, I think. I don't know until I have it in my hands, but I like more variety. So yeah, I think I'll use more fabric. Whale song, no, they didn't get any more, but Eau de Parfum is coming back. It's on the way. Yes. Um, I have an inquiry in for whale song though. So it wasn't, they weren't real optimistic about it, but we're going to try because that one flew out really fast and there are going to be some gorgeous quilts made out of that. That's for sure. So any more questions on the quilt along? I'm excited. That's the first one of the year. Yay. If we don't count our class packs, that's not really a quilt along. This is different. It's going to be a fun, fun day. So Friday it, or let's say Friday is when, um, the special ends, and then Saturday we'll have your cutting instructions. It's coming up. It's coming up fast. All right, so let's, speaking of pre-orders, we have a lot of new pre-orders just listed on the web website. So I just thought I would show you what we have going on. We have some beautiful new Moda, yes, Christmas fabrics. You know they ship in June, so if you want to secure, and this one I know is um, something anticipated. It's called Christmas Eve. It's by Lella Boutique. And this is, of course, the same designer that designed uh, our fabrics that we used a lot of for the Christmas in Europe. Mystery block of the month. And so I got to tell you, this line of hers is very, very similar. It's very similar. So if you wanted to secure some more of that, um, it will match the, uh, the, what was it called? Christmas Eve? No, this is Christmas Eve. Christmas morning is what it was called. Um, so that Christmas Eve will match Christmas morning perfectly. So that is um, coming. So we will have in the listing, if you click on 
the listing, it will say exactly when it's estimated ship date. We say anticipated ship date because we know how uh, we went through COVID with all the delays, but things are getting better. So when you, whenever you purchase a pre-order, you pay uh, the full price. However, $5 off of every bundle if for all pre-orders. So once we have the fabric in stock, it goes up. Okay, sorry, let's look at the next one. I just had to explain that, I saw some questions. Ooh, next one is another holiday line from Moda as well. It's called Good News, Great Joy by Fancy That Design House. Really love their work, so that I especially love that plaid. I can't, can't wait, that irregular kind of looking pet plaid. So this is, I love that navy in there with that light aqua and then the classic green and red. Beautiful. And then Happy to See Comfort and Joy by Create Joy Project. So this, remember Starflower Christmas? It was a very popular line for us uh, two years ago. And uh, yeah, we didn't have it last, it was two years ago. So this one is coming back. I love that there is a ty typography print. Cannot wait. We made a beautiful matrix out of the, out of the Starflower Christmas. And a lot of people wanted that and we couldn't get more. So then we have Harvest Wishes by Deb Strain from Moda. And I just absolutely love this version of a Harvest Fall line. So just a really light orange. It's kind of almost a gold. And then we have white pumpkins on the navy and then a beautiful uh, soft sagey green. This is a really gorgeous line and I can't wait to play with that one. Then we have Jolly Good by Basic Gray, another favorite, Basic Gray, and their holiday line. I love their kind of novelty, small prints with the stockings, but this is another great one from Basic Gray. Great basics too. We have a Rustic Gatherings. So this is a 10-piece bundle. I decided I wanted to kind of limit it with just um, smaller prints. So we have the gold or the, you know, rusty orange, the cream, and then grays and blacks. So didn't want to expand on it because I have kind of a plan. Rustic Gatherings. And another Halloween. Excited about this one too. I love the simplicity. This is Spellbound by Sweetfire Road. Black. I love that deep, rusty orange, and then the white prints that we have a lot of color in them. So again, another exciting one for me. I'm excited to play with that one with just this limited colorway. And then um, totally, somebody called, you could mix those. Yes, that's the plan. <laughs> that's the plan. They go very well together. So for more variety, you can um, blend some of the rusty gatherings. Uh, with Spellbound because then you get all the basics and the solids um, tone on tones together. Small scale with the big scale. Love it. All right, so we have new stuff in uh, the warehouse too, ready to ship out. Something we anticipate twice a year is here, and that is the new Bumbleberries Colors Spring Summer Edition. So here's what we do when these come in. Of course, they are all available in one yards, but we always cut fat quarter bundles for these because I know some of you, if you're anything like me, I like to collect them. And I have to say, this year actually is going to be the last year that they're doing a seasonal release. They're, are, they are picking their favorites and then they're going to just stick to those basics. But these are the seasonal bumbleberries for spring and uh, summer. So what they do is they color the bumbleberries to match their spring and summer collections. And so the way we do it with the back quarters, we package them and then you get an insert card. I don't have it because they were, I literally grabbed this from underneath them when they were packing them. So there will be a card telling you exactly which fabrics are what. So this can kind of act as your color card, as your little swatch card. You will have all the colors and the names on them. Now, this is, like I said, this is the last time they're doing this. So this means these colors come out in the summer, spring, summer. 
and then once they're gone, they're gone. There's, they have some basics that carry over, but these 20 colors are not coming back unless they pick them for their basics. So they're always a little tweaked, so I love those. They can just mix with so many things. So uh, lots of great tones. I love these kind of sage greens. Um, they always do a really great uh, muted teals. So and then we have the brightness, like the really nice bright red and a really nice bright blue. They're calling these two a Halloween orange and a Halloween purple. So although this is very kind of a harvesty gold, it's not so like a rusty gold like we saw in those, in those new Halloween lines coming out. So that is all in stock. Uh, the, the one yards are listed and in stock as well. So go check them out, lots of bumbleberries. So we still, have, we still have some of our winter release as well available. Then I have a brand new bundle that is very, very colorful. It is called Color Wheel. So it's pretty much a color wheel. I love these, they're very artsy. So you can do a lot of different things with them. This is by Kaufman. It's uh, one of their wish, one of the Wishwells collections, which I always really love. So we'll start with this wild one. So there's, it's really just a few prints, then then color differently, and then they repeat. So I love this one. This one is very kind of blocky, just just like an artist canvas. Then we have a really nice soft floral. There, so you'll see these little roses in between the brush strokes. So the heavy brush strokes, I just, I love these textures. They have such depth. We have a different kind of floral here, um, where almost, almost like sunflower remind me of that with the big, big centers, but they're just gorgeous. Uh, and then there is this kind of spatter, artist spatter. Uh, and another thing I love is the depth. Again, because it has brush strokes in the back and then there's a spatter on top and a few different colors. Even though this is gonna read red, it has gold and white in it. Mixing into a little bit of purple. So this one is like a, I don't know, it looks like a daisy or something, but again, lots of layers. So you see a lot of dimension in this print. Going back to the rose pattern and then the beautiful artist canvas such beautiful colors we have this one again in more of the lavender so i love that you see lavender blue purple in here and in this one you see pink and purple and deep navy and almost black so there's all these colors that just mix in there and then we go into the blue that has a little bit of purple, has navy in it as well. And a teal, this is the same print, but in a different color. And then we have the large floral here with adding a little bit of green in it, into it uh, with a teal and the navy. And so then the final one is all the greens, tying it back to some of the yellows. So it all kind of ties together, kind of like a rainbow. Uh, but these could be could work together. They could be broken apart. You can take them and do something monochromatic, and I I just absolutely love that. It's really nice and colorful. It's bright without being without being screaming, you know, without being neon or anything. But uh, so if you wanted to do something with this, I would say a great background would be a light background. Oh, absolutely. So if you like my colorful Katrina out of Frisky, this would be a very similar feel with all of the colors. So, but if you wanted to do something with a background, like if you wanted to do a Zoe alongside Katrina, I would do a light background, but I would add a little something to it. I think uh, adding, doing like a low volume with a little bit of color, like this is just gray sticks. This one has just little black and gray triangles. It just really makes, uh, makes them harmonize better when you do when you do something like that and make gives them a little edge too 
But then I just pulled some colors that match these colors. So we'll get, we're going to have a rainbow in this, in, in this color fabric pull pretty much. So we'll start here on the yellow and dot matrix in the golden. It's great because there's a little bit of texture and it matches this gold, this yellow perfectly. Uh, then we have some of the reds. I love the crisscross and the dark red because it ties in some of the dark ones here. And this was a color club red. For some of the purples, I did kind of an in between the jot dot lilac kind of pulls from some of the lavender and then some of the darker purples. For a pink, I decided to go with the floral elements in the fuchsia because it has layers and texture as well. For the navy tones, canvas after midnight, you will see them in this print. You will see the dark navy tones over here. You will see them over here so that it's kind of a mix of everything. This would also be a great, if you did, if you were doing like a supersized Amelie or like an accent, if you didn't want to do a light one, you could do an accent color also with the lights, but uh, a deep dark navy would be great as well. So then for the greens, I went with a speckled metallic and the emerald is a really great medium green with these. And then for the teals and turquoise, I did the spotted in the turquoise, kind of an in between um, all three. It would tie them all together. I did throw in another kind of a metallic, now kind of a citron, like a lime green. So pulling the lime uh, out of this, and it has darker green specks as well. So I want to throw that one in here as well. And it will tie back over with a yellow too. So it's. It's related for sure. One color that is not in here, if you wanted to add one, is of course an orange, but we do have some orange and gold specks, so I threw the seeds orange in here too, just for um, some fun. And that is color wheel. On top of that, we do have two prints in wide backs that I don't have with me, so 108s, uh, that we sell both in a three yard cut or a one yard cut from this line and it's uh, literally this texture here. So we have two colors and I have photos of them for you if um, come in. We have the pink, which is lovely with specks of red and purple. And then we have a blue which is kind of the medium blue, and then it has a little bit of lavender specks, the lime green specks, and then some navy and turquoise on there too. So really nice, fun, artsy backings for this line. So that is Color Wheel. You like that one? I love it. <laughs> it's fun. I mean, I love it all. You probably know by now that I, there's very few fabrics that I don't like. And I especially if I see something unique that I haven't seen before, gotta love it. Now, this might be a lot of color for some of you, but color is great. Don't be afraid. Uh, anyways, I wanted to also remind you of, we have, a, we have two more shows this week. We have our brand new show this Thursday morning, our morning show, and that is, we're calling it Perfect Pair because our hosts are the perfect pair. Nancy and Kara are gonna take you through some fun chat. They're gonna show you what they're working on. They're gonna do some pairings and uh, answer questions and all kinds of fun stuff. So don't miss it. It's third Thursdays of each month, only one a month at 9.30 Central Time. 9.30 Central Time on Thursday. You can, of course, if you do have to, Go to the dreaded workplace. <laughs> you can, of course, watch after the fact. So just make sure you follow our Facebook page if you like to watch on Facebook. But you know if you have to watch later, it's always easier to find it on our YouTube channel. So make sure you go check that out. We will be adding a page to our video, our website, where we're going to list their shows. So you can always go there, too, and just click on the link there. But we'll be adding that after the show. So who's excited for a little Kara and Nancy perfect pair? Are you going to watch? 
on Thursday. I'll be watching. I'll be watching. It'll be, uh, somebody's asking how long it'll be. It will be maybe a little bit shorter than our Tipsy Tuesday shows. So 45 minutes or so, but some good stuff they're going to be talking about for sure. All right, so we are going to change things up because the past two shows, we only did a live winner for our giveaway. So today, I am going to give everybody an opportunity to win, even if you're watching us not live, if you're catching the show after the fact. So I'm going to do a giveaway question. So we're not going to have a winner today. We're going to announce it next week. And our question, the question you have to answer to be entered into the giveaway is this one. Do you like taking quilting classes? And I know this is a kind of open question because most quilting classes before 2020 took place in person, but we have had a lot of, a lot of virtual classes happening. So I just would love to hear if you enjoy taking classes. Or maybe there's a lot of people that are just self-taught and never taken a class. So let us know in the comments and uh, just by answering, you will automatically be entered into a giveaway to win a $25 gift card to geequiltscience.com. So excited about that. We'll announce it a week from today on our Tipsy Tuesday show, which is January 24th at 4 p.m. Central. That is Geesley's birthday. Uh, that's our middle son's birthday. Our middle son, our younger son. We have two. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, so 4 p.m. Central, our Friday show will, of course, be live at 12 p.m. Central this coming Friday. That is going to be January 20th. So exciting times ahead, lots of stuff going on. If you're taking the class packs, check out your folder, your downloadable files in the morning and uh, tackle, that, tackle those next steps. I can't wait to see what you do. But that's it for us. Thank you all for watching. Do you have any last words, Mr. HP? Bye, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.